Welcome to FNAF Thoughts, where I go over my Five Nights at Freddy's theories. So today I'm going to be talking about the voices that were revealed for FNAF Security Breach, like the voice actors and voice descriptions. I did do I did a video about this before, but I was just talking about them being a thing. I didn't talk about my theories on them, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So first off is the 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 um the friendly but annoying clean bot. Originally, at first, I was pretty sure it was Hand Unit, but what I didn't know was that the voice actors were also revealed for these characters. And actually, this character is going to be voiced by Joe Gaudet, which, for those of you that don't know, he's the person that voiced Mr. Hippo, Rockstar Foxy, and Funtime Foxy in Ultimate Custom Night. Which means, sadly, Hand Unit is going to be replaced... Um, but uh, he's, he's a really good voice actor. All those characters have good voices, and I think this character is going to be really cool. I don't think it is going to be like Han Unit, because Han Unit was more of like, to open the faceplates, click the button below Freddy's right eye. But I think this character is going to be more like Wheatley, I think, from Portal 2. I think he's probably going to be like, not really know much, but pretend he does. I feel like he's going to be like, to open the upper part of the torso, click that blue button over there that says control shock. And then you click it, and then like, it shocks the animatronic, the jump scare you, and then he's like, oh wait, no, I meant that red button below the jaw. And then you're going to be like, what? How did you get that wrong? But like, I think that's going to be what's annoying about it. I don't think this character himself is going to be annoying, but like... Yeah, you know what I mean? I think it's going to be a pretty good character though. Uh, I'm not sure what the voice is going to sound like, since, like, it seems like his voices are all a lot different. Like, Funtime Foxy, Rockstar Foxy, and Mr. Hippo, Mr. Hippo are all super different. So, I don't know, like, what this is going to sound like. I'm not sure how robotic it's going to sound. We'll see. I think it is going to sound pretty human. I don't think it's going to sound very robotic. So, the second voice that was, um, like, revealed was a Metal Femme Fatale. Which, I said in my last video, it means, like, a, sedu a, sedu a sed seductive woman that, like, if you, uh, are involved with her, you'll probably die or whatever. So, I'm not sure who that's gonna be. It could either be Glamrock Chica, Roxanne Wolf, or some character we haven't heard of yet. I think this part in the game is gonna be, like, after Fanny has tampered with the animatronics and, like, hacked into them. Like, I think this is going to be after that, because I think that's going to happen, and I think, like, this part's not going to happen until they're evil, or maybe that's just, like, the description of her voice, like, that's what she sounds like. So I would think that would be Roxanne Wolf, because uh, I feel like Glamrock Chica is going to be, like, kind of like Toy Chica's voices, but a little different. So I think that could be Roxanne's voice. And then the other voice was for Innocent... What a sweet kid, no evil intentions. I'm not sure if that means they actually are just a uh, sweet kid or if they are do have evil intentions, but he's being sarcastic. I'm not really sure. Um, so they're going to be American, it seems like. That's what the description was. They're going to be 5 to 12. Um, it said they're going to be sad and sympathetic, which means they could be kind of like lying to you that they're sad because it's no... Like, I think he is being sarcastic about the no evil intentions, so I think he's gonna... I think the kid is gonna be, like, pretending to be sad or sympathetic or whatever so, to make you do something, and then that will be bad for you. I think something like that could happen. I also said that this kid, I think, could be the one in the Montgomery Gator teaser to the bottom left, because that's the only kid in all the teasers that we've seen in somewhat detail. I mean, it's still a silhouette, but we all we can tell that they have curly hair at least. The voice thing didn't specify if it's a boy or a girl. I think the voice actor is a girl, though. I think that's what it was, because the voice actors were revealed. But I'm not sure if we're even going to see them, because they didn't specify which gender the kid was supposed to be, so we might not actually see the kid. It could just be a character from a different store. Like, because this is a big mall, so it could be another mascot from a different store, maybe. Like how in Sis oh, like how in Pizzeria Simulator there were, like, Lally's Lollies and stuff like that. This could be a character kind of like that, where you go into a different store and it's a different character. 
Like, maybe you could go into a candy shop, and then this is like the mascot of the candy shop or something like that, like a little kid. I'm pretty sure we are going to have more things pop up on Voices.com because there's still Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, uh, and Montgomery Gator. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to have some more characters in the game too. Um, so for the kid, it said that they had 200 words and it would be completed in like a minute and a half. So I'm not sure if that means that this kid is going to be talking really fast, like out of panic because... They're, uh, it seems like they're gonna be sad and they could be like, go blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be like that or if it's just, uh, not very long. Like, maybe, I don't know how long it takes to say 200 words. I guess probably not too long, but I don't know. I also don't know if this is gonna be 200 words in one big thing, like a minute and a half of them talking, or if it's gonna be different lines throughout the game. Probably different lines throughout the game, I'm not sure though. But those are all of my FNAF for thoughts. If you want to subscribe, click the button on top of my head. If you want to watch my last FNAF for thoughts video, click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video that I made, click that button over there. And I'll see you on the next FNAF for thoughts video.